Okay, so we want to make, we're going to add distance fields so that we can have ripples around objects that emit distance fields like the landscape or rocks or anything, anything like that. So first things first, we're going to go into our, into our material and get the distance to near surface node. And then we're just going to straight out divide this by a scalar parameter and call this um, ripple gradient. So this will be how far from the object, like the gradient, how far away from the object you want the ripples to start or to end. So we're going to 1 minus this and then saturate it just to be sure. Make it 0 to 1. Okay, so we're going to use it. Um, a sine node because a sine node would be like this and it's you know a wave so we could use the time node divide time by a scalar and get the ripple speed once you have the ripple speed we're going to Go from here and add this to this, and then from here, sorry, from here, we can multiply these two together to get the amount of ripples. So basically, we're just copying this over and over. So, say if we make this two. It just do two of these. I mean, yeah. Right now. I don't know. Anyways. From here, we're going to go into a sign. Which is, I think, downs up. I don't remember. I don't know what I'm talking about. What am I talking about? Okay, and then we're gonna multiply this back into itself. And then if you want, we can divide this to say hardness of ripples or ripple hardness. And then we can just add at the end, <coughs> At the end, we're going to add a value, let's do 1.33, which is the value of nat the natural refraction value in water. And we're just going to plug all of this into our refraction. So basically, by using the refla refraction um, input, we just, it just, it refracts the water in a way with the sign nodes to make it look like there's ripples, but so you see we have some oh wait, wait. that looks nice, but it looks unrealistic. Um sorry a second. We one point three three is too much on Unreal, so I'll make it one point zero three three is what I use. And that looks better. So now you see the refraction of these moving and then let's test it on a rock with distance fields. Let me see. So you see it's at zero right now, but it's refracting and then let's go into our instance and say Harness one, three, twenty. Let's see a hundred. So that looks highly unrealistic. So we just tweak these, 
that's to R fifteen. Say what? Three ripples. That looks more realistic. So that was a simple, a simple, a simple in very cheap way of making ripples around distance fields. So no matter where we move it, as long as this has effect, this is field. As long as this is checked, let's try to uncheck that. As long as, as long as, as long as distance field lighting is checked, then it should um, have ripples. So let's make a little landscape really quick. Say this is a river bank or a bank of a thing. Did I miss it? So you see the ripples pop up around it. In our next video, we're going to turn this into a river.